Good morning, Roadrunners, and welcome to week four of Time of Hope, week five of school. And today I would love to share with you one of the verses that has also followed me throughout my life, especially as um, I was considering that uh, today, officially, when I record this is um, Friday, September 15th, which is the eve of Mexican Independence Day. It is also the first day of Hispanic Heritage Month here in the United States. But thinking about the Mexican experience of independence, uh, there was war, there were battles. And I'm sure that many of the, the men and women who fought for Mexico's independence were people of faith. And they too, at some point, called on for God to be their salvation. And that's why I want to share this psalm with you, which is Psalms 121, 1. And it reads, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my salvation come from? That's a question. And then the answer comes next. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And it is my prayer for you. It is my desire that whenever those circumstances in your life arise, that you will lift up your eyes, that you will call upon God and believe that he has your best interest in mind. You know, I think about this verse as I have um, many times bumped into something when I have been on my phone with my head down and this week I actually took some time to walk and and to meditate and just sit and uh, I went out to the park that's close to my house and I lifted up my eyes and it was wonderful to see you know the landscape birds flying by a beautiful tree that was right in front of me and we miss out on a lot of that when our eyes are down, when we are consistently looking down. So, you know, there's gonna be fireworks this weekend, I'm sure, uh, locally, and we're going to be lifting up our eyes to the heavens. I hope that we make it a habit to lift up our eyes, to look around, to seek God, and that that will bring you closer and that will make your spiritual connection to God one that will be a blessing to you and to others. Thank you for listening. And remember that there is always hope. God bless you.